Morning church. Hello. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nasikia sauti yenu bado iko chini. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Tell your neighbor leo ni worship Sunday. <laughs> Sasa leo ndio ile siku yenye eh, sitaaibika ku dance kando yako, sitaaibika ku worship kando yako. Today I just want to release myself to the Lord. Na wenye wamevaa heels leo sijui tutafanya aje. I think we I wish we had told you to come with rubbers. Okay? Otherwise, we want to praise the Lord. Uh, today, we want to be taken through faith versus fear. Okay? Tell your neighbor, faith versus fear. Faith versus fear. So throughout the day, the service today, we are going to look at faith versus fear. And that is our theme of the day, as we worship the Lord. So we want to celebrate Jesus, uh, this lovely, beautiful worship Sunday. And uh, at this moment, I want to request Mchungaji to just open this day for us with a word of prayer. Alafu tuweze kuchangamuka zaidi. asifiwe. Asante. Let us pray. We thank you, our Heavenly Father, for having gathered us here, dear Father, this day, this worship Sunday. Our Father and our God, we know for sure that you never gather your people in vain. We are here in your presence, dear Father, waiting on you, depending upon you, dear Father, that you minister unto our hearts through singing, through praises, through the ministry of your word, dear Father, and all manner of activities that we are going to do this day. We ask, dear Father, that we begin this service, we, your presence will walk with us. And this is our prayer of faith in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Good. Ask your neighbor, do you trust in Jesus? That's our first hymn. It is so sweet to trust in this Jesus. Uh, it's, do you have this? Make sure you have... Uh, today we we'll use this program so much. Uh, most of the songs and uh, the prayers are on this uh, document. We are in page four. If you have it. Trust in Jesus Just to take him at his word Just to rest upon his promise Just to know the same Simple faith to plant me in the heat. 
celebrate this Jesus. Hallelujah. As we get into the prayer, uh, praise team, thank you so much as you have your seats. Um, let's go to page one of our programs. Let us worship God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Lord, direct our thoughts and teach us to pray. Lift up our hearts to worship you in spirit, all in truth through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in sorrow for our sins, for turning away from you and ignoring you. We will for our lives, your will for our lives. Father, forgive us. For behaving just as we wish without thinking of you, Father, forgive us. For failing you by what we do and thinking and saying, Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. For letting ourselves be drawn away from you by temptation in the world about us, Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. For living as if we were ashamed to belong to your son, Father, forgive us. Save us and help us. So we stand together with Christians throughout the centuries and throughout the world today uh, to affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. Together. I believe in God, the Father, the creator of, of heaven, heaven and earth. earth. I, I believe, believe in Jesus Christ, Christ his only Son, Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. So at this moment, I just want to welcome the worship team to lead us into a worship session. And thereafter, we are going to get into prayer, uh, personal prayer. Just pray uh, for yourself. Uh, let us repent before God and ask him to walk through with us. So this is going to be a moment of worship. We are all getting involved in this, so it is a worship moment, so we'll continue to stand.
worship you, Lord. Tu me gundo afamba kuna wanzo wanzo yeyo. Iwe na unaweza wakuponya mabondo yote. Iwe na uli na uweza wakusame kila haina yata. Lord, this morning we plead for your mercy, O God. The Lord may you show us mercy, Jehovah God. Siku ya leo situpite Jehovah Jire Kutana na anja ya kila moja maani ya kwa Jehovah Jire Kutana na anja ya kila moja Lord For we need you Holy Spirit of God We need you of our brother Lord in the name of Jesus We need you Jesus We need more of you Lord We need more of you of our brother Lord We need more of you Jesus
pamoja wetu kuacha tujipeleke mbele za huyo bwana maana ni bwana mwaminifu wewe Mungu ambaye watujua kwa majina yetu wewe ambao wajua pia mawazo yetu na wewe ambaye pia wajua hata mienendo na mitendo yetu kwa hakika nani kama wewe wewe ambaye ni mtakatifu Jesus wewe ambao upo wewe ambao utazidi kuwepo kwa hakika wanao kuabudu na wakuogope wanao lijua jina lako na waliinue na kulitukuza wanao kuja mbele zako kwa moyo wa shukrani na kujitoa kwa sababu ya neno lako baba ukainue mioyo yetu hakuna mwingine kama wewe release your power lord this morning as we are here to worship you as we are here to glorify you lord let all those who know you lord fear you let all those who know your word adore you and praise your name because you are holy lord who is like you none can be compared to you our heavenly father we thank you dear lord we thank you dear father for loving us even before we loved you cleanse us dear father this morning as we come to you with a heart of thanksgiving this morning oh dear heavenly father to give you glory receive our praise and honor this morning baba ukapate kuinuka nasi tukapate kushushwa ili baba ukaweze kuonekana katika kila njia tunayoipita maana wewe ni bwana mwema twajachilia kwa upendo wa mwana wako Yesu Kristo huyu aliyetufilia msalabani kwa ajili ya dhambi zetu nani kama Yesu twamtukuza na kuinua jina lako enenda nasi bwana maana bila wewe hatutaweza lakini tukiwa nawe tunazidi kuona ukuu wako katika maisha yetu katika jina la bwana wetu Yesu Kristo tuomba na tukuamini so uh, as our savior taught us we are boldly let's sit for heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sins against us Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Prayer of the day. Today is the 20th Sunday after Trinity. O Lord our God, who alone are able to know the end from the beginning, and to whom the mysteries of life and death are an open secret, Open our feeble minds that we may truly know the depths of our, of your salvific purpose for humanity and for each one of us individually and thus purposefully work out our salvation with fear and trembling as we seek to model our lives in your likeness knowing well that the way of salvation is the way of the cross give us courage to walk that way as Jesus Christ did amen Amen. Thank you. At this moment, we're going to ask uh, Veronica Shedron to take us through the first reading. Praise God, Church. Praise God. My name is Veronica Shedron. And our reading comes from Matthew chapter 14 from verse 22 to 36. Matthew chapter 14 from verse 22 to 36. Immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitude away he went up on the mountain by himself to pray and when the evening had come he was alone there but the boat was uh, but the boat was now in the middle of the sea tossed by the waves for the wind was contrary now in the fourth watch of the night Jesus went to them walking on the sea And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea they were troubled saying it is a ghost 
and they cried out for fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, do not be afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. So he said, Come. And when Peter had come down out of the boat, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind was boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried out, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him. And he said to him, O you of little faith, why did you doubt? And when they got into the boat, the wind ceased. When those who were in the boat came and worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they came to the land of Genereset. And when the men of the place recognized him, they sent out into all the surrounding region, brought to him all who were sick, and begged him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and many as touched it were made perfectly well. That is the word of God. Thank you so much, uh, Veronica. Uh, in response to that verse, the praise team, uh, please come for your presentation.
church can we all say sita ogopa eh hata hiyo sita ogo good uh, let's have the second reading morin kadzu Praise God church. Praise God. God is good and all the time. Amen. Our second reading is from the book of Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 39. Romans chapter 8 verse 31 to 39. What then shall we say in response to these things if God is for us who can be against us he who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all how will he not also along with him graciously give us all these things who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen it is God who justifies who then is the one who condemns no one Christ Jesus who died more than that who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us who shall separate us from the love of Christ shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as it is written for your sake we face death all day long we are considered as sheep to be slaughtered no in all these things We are more than conquerors through him who loved us for I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any power neither hate or nor death do, nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord and that's our reading is god is for us so who can be against us do not fear bwana yesu asifiwe um at this point i want us we want to be blessed by peter and apollo peter and apollo um Praise God Church. Uh, today is worship Sunday. Na kama venye kiongozi alisema pale mwanzo tukianza alisema let us worship God, Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. And that's the song we shall sing, the song titled The Doxology. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. 
so much Peter and Apollo. Let's uh, give them a round of applause again. <laughs> yeah, within the same same theme, uh, the praise and worship also have a song. Uh, praise him. Praise him. Let's come as we choir we are reserving you for the best so prepare to do your two songs uh, Ziki Fuatana.
you true And praise God is nobody greater than you Everything that has breath, praise the Lord. Uh, choir for your two songs. Let's encourage the choir as they come. Oh 
Mfungulieni moyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Let us clap for the best choir in Nakuru Diocese. <laughs> I usually find a lot of pride uh, when I go to other places. I wish they could see how good our choir is. Yoweri, see ni mzuri kuliko ile yenyu. Hii choir. Imeshinda ile yenyu. Uh, let us clap for them once more time. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. Uh, at this time, we are going to wel welcome our secretary to give us the notices. Good morning, church. God is good. And all the time. Yes, on behalf of our vicar, Reverend Kamano and Reverend Jonah, 
We wish to welcome all church regular members and visitors if we have any. Kama wewe ni mgeni umekuja kuabudu nasi siku yako ya kwanza tungekuomba usimame ili uweze kujitambulisha mahali umetoka na kama utakuwa ukiabudu nasi. Leo hatuna wage, au tuko na mgeni pia. Tutueleze jina lako mahali umetoka na kama utakuwa ukiabudu nasi. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Majina yangu naitwa Yoweri Kenyatta nimekuwa na mpenda Yesu. Mimi ni rafiki wa kanisa ili si mara ya kwanza lakini ni mara ya kwanza kushiriki nanyi siku ya Jumapili na shiriki katika kanisa la St Christophers uh, SK pale mjini town milimani na nimefurahi kwa pamoja na nyinyi. Ndakuwa natembea mara mingi mingi eh, tutazidi kubarikiwa barikiwe sana. Amen. Yeah, Bonesu asifiwe. Amen. Mi kwa majina naitwa Rehema Imara. Mimi ni mshirika wa Full Gospel na hii ni mara ya pili kwa hapa ni etisijawai kwa on Sunday but mkesha nilikuwa nikija but nitakuwa nikitembea mara moja. Mbarikiwe. Asante. Praise God. Amen. Uh, my name is Eunice Wairimo Masharia. Mimi si mgeni. Lakini I've been away for like three months. Um, I had a small accident in the house. Was a, a, a while I was cleaning. So I injured my wrist and uh, it had to be plastered. So that's why I've been away. I was recuperating. But God is good. Sai niko my hand is okay. And I thank God you ni protect from the worst the worst that could have happened. And I feel so blessed to be here today. Uh, the singing, the praising of God. Inani imeni jenga, imeni bariki sana. So Nashkuru. Uh, and I've I'd missed you so much. And I'd also miss the word of God. Na, it's, it's good to be back in the house of our father. Amen. God bless you so much. Amen. Mwana asifiwe. Amen. Asifiwe tena. Amen. Kwa majina naitua Maureen Mohonja. Mini mshiriku wa full gospel. Lakini nimekuja tushiriki pamoja. Antakua tukishiriki. Kwa wageni wetu tafadhali tungewaomba msimame tena ili tuwakaribishe jinsi tunakaribisha wageni. Kwa wabariki iwe wabariki iwe wabariki iwe sana wabariki iwe wabariki iwe wabariki iwe wabariki iwe sana kwa uambia kwa uambia kwa uambia yesu anawapenda ni wageni wetu uh, mchungaji wetu yuko kwenye likizo na ametuma salamu zake mmezipokea Juma pili ijayo tumekuwa tukiwatangazia itakuwa ndio mission day climax na mitaa zote ta, wata participate with their presentations kwa hivyo tuendele kuombea siku hii hapa kanisani on 28th october that is on saturday coming saturday at the good shepherd kutakuwa kuna diocesan function ya kayo sunday school project tee graduations na st nicolas kwa hivyo wale wana watahudhuria tafadhali muweke masaa itakuweko pale Cathedral of the Good Shepherd. All departments are requested to prepare their 2023 financial and progress reports and 
budget proposal for the year 2024 by 5th November. Hili ni tangazo. Yongozi wote wa idara waendele ku prepare their reports na watazirejesha by 5th November. St. Paul's, Mta, Bethany, Amani, Umoja, Mitaz will lead the service on 5th November. Kayo Coordinator's annual retreat will be held at the Oasis camping site from 9th November to 11th. Kwa hivyo, the Kayo Coordinator, at least ajue uh, kutakuko uh, na retreat yao, itakuweko pale Oasis camping site, kwanzia tarehe tisa, hadi tarehe kumina moja, mwezi wa kumina moja. Tarehe, shirin, tarehe kuminambili mwezi wa November, tutakuweko na Sunday ya mafundisho. Then the rite of passage will take place from 5th to 11th November at the Roots Junior Academy in Baruku. That is the formerly Laikipia campus. For the parents who have their boys, registration is 8,500. And for more information, you can see the Kama Coordinator or Dr. Muthui. This is a request to all members. Those who have not cleared their personal pledges are requested to do so by 19th November. Parents with candidates. Last Sunday, we called the names. We are requesting parents to collect their success cards for their children from the desk. The warden has the cards. This is an announcement to all ladies. All ladies, our Wednesday fellowship will take place in our members' homes. That is on Wednesday. We shall visit two families. Tafadhali Mushike Haya will visit the Mr. and Mrs. Newton Kamau, and uh, that is from 1 p.m. Thereafter, we'll visit our dad, uh, Reverend uh, Canon Kinyanjui and Mrs. Kinyanjui, thereafter, after visiting Mr. Newton. Kwa hivyo, mama Mushike Haya, na watu waweke masa kwa sababu ya Hali ya anga, kwa hivyo watu wa mama wakutane mapema, will visit two homes at one, and thereafter they are in the same lane, section 58, pale mamangina, phase three, near dog section. Kwa hivyo wale wajui njia, mneza uliza koordinator wa mama, mtaelekezwa. Then uh, here is from the teens. Wazazi ambao wako na watoto wa teens, teenage, wale wako form one, hadi form four, Tafadhali mnaulizo mbaki nyuma kwa ufupi tu. Mtabaki hapa ndani ya kanisa. Kuna maelezo ambao mtaelezo wa zaidi. There's something they want, you want, need to be informed. So parents, kindly, if you have a child in form 1 to form 4, kindly remain behind in the church briefly as you take your uji. Then there's from Kama Desk. The Kama Luncheon, this is for all saints. All saints Come amen. They have their luncheon that will take place on 18th November. It will be at the stopover elementator, and uh, they are requested to come to church by 9 a.m. so that they can live together. Kwa hivyo, waonaume wote, munatangazo lenyu, utakweko na luncheon yenyu, tare kuminanane mwezi ujayo, Itakweko pale stopover elementator na mnaulizu wa mfike hapa kanisani na mweke masa saa tatu ili muondoke pamoja. And now events coming soon are as follows. 26th November will be the Bishop's Retirement Service and it will be held at the Rift Valley Sports Club. Then uh, on 27th, November to 3rd December, we shall have the Brigade Week. 4th December to 8th, we'll have the Kama Provincial Conference at Mary Shaw School, Kajiado. Then on 9th December, we shall have Kama Luncheon 
stroke opening karma apartment. That is on 9th December. Then on 10th December, we shall have our family Thanksgiving here in church. Then 18th to 22nd December, we shall have the Kayo Conference at Molo Academy. Then 24th December, we shall have our carol service. Then 25th, we'll have the Christmas and Holy Communion service. And now, Mita notices are as follows. Jerusalem Mita will meet today after the second service at room two. St. Barnabas Mta will meet also today after the second service in the house of Dr. and Mrs. Mbugwa. Galilee Mta will also meet today at 3 p.m. in the house of Winnie Nasieku. Jericho Mta will meet today after the second service and they will meet at the youth class, Pale Kwagorofa, first floor. Mount Olive Mta will meet next Sunday at 3 p.m. in the house of Mrs. Esther Kagwe. St. Francis Mta will also meet next Sunday after the second service in the house of Jennifer Alosa. And also from St. Francis Mta, they are requested to meet briefly at room one. And now our offer to service 48 members, main service 175, Sunday school 95, youth 16, total membership all saints 334, church of grace, Sunday main service 32 members, Sunday school 62, youth 15, total membership church of grace 109 members and the grand total membership for the parish was 443 Members, be blessed. Let's appreciate our secretary with a better clap. Asante sana secretary kwa matangazo hayo. Today, being a worship Sunday, I believe you are blessed. Are we? So tunendelea vizuri. Uh, tunashukuru Bwana kwa sababu ya siku hii. Uh, tunaamini ya kwamba uh, ni siku ambayo tutajitoa kwa sababu ya huyu Kristo uh, tunapoendelea katika hali ya kumwabudu. Uh, ningependa tu kuwajulisha viongozi ambao wanahusika katika ibada hii ya siku ya leo. Uh, uh, Collins. Amen. Alen tuko na ndugu yetu Lerida Mwakilani. And then to my right uh, Lerida Washira. Bwana asifiwe. Na kisha atakuwa na mhubiri wetu wa siku ambaye ni mchungaji the newest priest in town. Bwana asifiwe eh. 
Kwa hivyo tunamshukuru sana. Ah uh, yeye ndiye atatulisha neno siku ya leo na mimi atakuwa na wakati wake atakaposimama mahala hapa. Na ningewauliza wana praise and worship team nitakapokuwa nikielekea koketi mkaweze kuja ili mkaweze kukaribisha mnenaji wa siku ya leo. Nami nimeokoka Kristo ni Bwana katika maisha yangu naitwa Remson. Bwana asifiwe. Praise and worship. Praise God. Bwana asifiwe. Tunaposimama salimia jirani. Uh, jirani aliye kando yako sio nyumbani msalimie tukisimama ili tumsifu Bwana. Amen. One, two. Good. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Just say tire. 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 See your tire. Tire, your light. Oh, 
Mami wanja ya leta ni mulanga leta Mami wanja leta ni mulanga leta Mami wanja ya leta ni mulanga leta Mami wanja leta ni mulanga leta One, two, three, come on Ha! Omuami ni mungu Wanje ni wangu Nikimuita ni mulanga Aleta Ana? Anakuja Poneswa sifiwe Tende Omuami wanja ya leta Ni mulanga leta Omuami wanja leta Ni mulanga leta Omuami wanja ya leta Ni mulanga leta Omuami wanja leta Ni mulanga leta Ipapa wanja ya leta Ni mulanga leta Omuami wanja ya leta Ni mulanga leta Mwami wanje, ni mulanga Tata wanje, ni mulanga Tati wanje, ni mulanga Tata wanje, ni mulanga Mwami wanje leta, ni mulanga leta 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 Tati wanje, ni mulanga Tati wanje, ni mulanga Papa wanje, ni mulanga Tenda, tenda Mwame, alafu kuna ingine Roho, roho Roho, roho Roho, roho Roho, roho Roho, Papa, Roho, Mami wanja leta ni mulanga leta, 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 Tati wanja leta ni mulanga leta, Mami wanja leta ni mulanga leta. Mwami wanje, oni mulanga Leta, 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 leta Oni mulanga, leta Wakati tunaimba roo wapi makofi Roho, 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 roho Maro gerenzo, maro gerenzo, maro gerenzo. 
waliponambia twende nyumbani kwa baba nilifurahi waliponambia twende nyumbani kwa baba nilicheza cheza waliponambia twende nyumbani kwa baba nilifurahi waliponambia twende nyumbani kwa baba nilifurahi waliponambia twende nyumbani kwa baba nilifurahi waliponambia twende nyumbani kwa baba twende tumwimbie bwana na kucheza Let us clap for Jesus. Let us just celebrate Jesus as we thank him for his faithfulness. Hakuna Mungu mwingine kama wewe. We worship you and we praise you. For it is in Jesus name do we sing. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. We may have our seats. Um, I'm privileged to be with you this uh, worship Sunday uh, because of the visitors. Jina langu ni Reverend John Mwaurangogi, ni meokoka. Kristo ni mwokozi wa maisha yangu. Nafrahia wakovu wake kwa kuwa nimeona akiwa akini pigania, akini yongoza, akini fundisha. Na kwa hakika na I carry a testimony ya kwamba yeye ni mchungaji mwema bwana asifiwe ningali bado nimeokoka ningali bado niko na mke mmoja ningali bado niko na watoto watatu na tunaendelea kumshukuru Mungu nashukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya huu wakati ambao umeweza kutupa tuweze kusikia neno lake na neno la siku ya leo ni kama vile imekuwa introduce na kiongozi wetu kwamba leo tunaangalia mambo mawili faith versus fear bwana asifiwe ukisikia pahali pameko majina mawili ama vitu mbili na kati yake ya vitu mbili katika kuandika kumeandikwa jina versus hiyo ni kujua kwamba inatueleza kwamba hiyo ni mambo mawili ambayo yana yanatofautiana yanangengana kuona nani ata shida mwingine that is why hata watu ujana anajua walikuwa bali kwa TV wenye wanapenda mpira wakiona Chelsea versus Arsenal mnajua ni nani alishinda nani hakushinda kulienda aje so ukiona jina versus ni kumaanisha ni vitu viwili ambavyo vinapimana nguvu kweli ama si kweli ukisikia Madonga na Jona unajua ni ule jamaa wa <laughs> wa Tanzania anapiga kelele mpiga dondi wanaenda kumenyana na Jona kwa uwanja so mnatarajia kutakuwa na mshi na mshindi hakuna watu wanafurahishwa sana na na draw draw ni ile mnaenda mnashangilia mwefuata watu kama wale watu wa Gormaya si kama wako hapa mnaenda mnashangilia mmejaa kwa uwanja alafu game inatoka draw kuna watu wanafurahingi kitu kama hiyo si ndio na kuna watu wengine wanaanga msimamo. Wanaendanga kwa kuwatch game, whichever game it is. Ukimuuliza unata support simu gani unaona anako na wasiwasi. Anangoja ile itashinda, hiyo ndiyo ata support. Kwa ni mtu hana msimamo. Wengine hata wanafika mahali, mtu anaja, ana, anavaa two jerseys. Moja ya Gor Mahia na ingine ya AFC. Ile itashinda ndiyo anatoa, anavaa na naenda akishangilia. So unashangaa hii ni mtu wa aina gani? So as we look at faith versus fear today. First and foremost ni vizuri mimi kama mwenye ninaongea hapa nitagaze msibamo. Mimi niko pande ya faith. Sawa sawa. Na hiyo ndiyo nitaenda nikikuja kuambia siko pande ya fear. Ingawa saa zingine mwili na roho zinapigana, fear inakuja kama kwa mwadadamu. Faith, faith 
is what i profess na nakumbuka siku moja nilienda interview ilikuwa in an insurance company and they can uliza what is difference what is the difference between what you are doing na what you intend to do here ama product yenye iko hapa so i don't know what got into my mind and kawaambia in insurance you sell fear I never got the job. <laughs> so hata wale ambao wanakuja kukuambia <laughs> you know you know that how insurance come. Eh hey, unaweza pata accident, unaweza kufa, unaweza eh hey, unafika mahali wasindo ai. <laughs> unaweza kuwa sijui aje. So me nikasema uh, insurance they say ofia. Eh hey, they didn't like it. So I never got the job. They would have wanted me to say they sell we sell hope. So fear hata wale wanaongea mambo gumu kama hiyo hawataki waseme isemekane ni fear So I am sure even us we don't like fear I remember a time my my brother kila siku alikuwa anakuja nyumbani anakuja anaambia madhe ai nimepigwa Unajua my mom was a teacher Unajua saa zingine kwa shule watoto wa walimu wanaonewa sana na hawa wengine So my brother unakuta 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 hata hata mimi nishaiwekewa jata ilikuwa inaweza kuwekewa jata hapa unaweka unaekewa kitu hapa alafu mtu anakoka hivi anasema umekubali mpigane ama mtu anakuja anakuambia nitafunga na wewe unapata stress unapata fear so my brothers kumoja akakuja akakuja mara kwanza unajua tumefunzwa na mama tusipigane sisi mama yetu alikuwa mothers union ametufuza tusipigane shule hata kusikia vita because akisikia vita utapigwa shuleni alafu kuja upigwe nyumbani so my brother anakuja anamwambia nimepigwa kuja anamwambia mara ya pili nimepigwa nasikia ati, wakati alimwambia tatu nimepigwa akamwambia hata waenda upigane sasa <laughs> hakuna watu wanataka kusikia hiyo maneno ya kushindwa si ndio and i know even in now in as christians tunapoishi katika maisha hii hatutaki kushindwa na wakati tunaona mambo ambayo inakuja na ni mambo ambayo inaweza fanya tushindwe kwa hakika saa zingine tunajipata tunaogopa ukweli ama si ukweli hata saa hizi wakati watoto wanakuja kufunga shule kuna watoto ambao walifunga friday na ukisikiza wazazi wengine si kupenda kwao lakini wanaogopa wanashindwa sasa huyu mtoto atakaa hapa kutoka saa hii mpaka januari especially wale watoto wako miaka ya juu juu wengine unawaambia hivi wanashika hivi ama wanajua unataka hivi lakini wanataka kufanya hivi ukasirike so unashindwa unakuwaaje unakuwa na uoga kuna wazazi kwa hakika saa zingine si kupenda kwa na si ati hawapendi watoto lakini saa nyingine wanakuanga at peace wakati watoto wako shuleni boarding kweli ama si ukweli because wakiwa nyumbani unashinda ukistuka unashindwa mtoto sasa ameenda wapi atarudi mtoto kama ni msichana januari itafika arudi shule bila kama mambo haijaharibika kweli ama si ukweli so at times tunajikuta in a lot of fear but today this morning i would want us to assess mambo ya kuna mhubiri mwingine hapo ije ningetaka tu assess mambo ya fear na by the way tunawaka katika wakati mgumu wakati una, ukifungua radio ukifungua gazeti ukiangalia hata familia wangapi hapa familia yao haina shida hata yetu iko na shida nikiwa mchungaji hivi sasa najiuliza saa zingine najiuliza before nienda kuhubiria watu si kwanza nihubiri kwetu nyumbani because hata kwetu kwa familia kuna shida kuna shida so inaweka wasiwasi kwa hivyo tunakaa katika wakati uko mgumu sana wakati unashindwa haya mambo ambayo yanalikuta katika jamii yangu nitatayatatua namna gani ndoa inakuwa ngumu saa zingine si kupenda kwetu saa nyingine ulikuwa unasikia jana ati watu wanakaa kwa gari wanakuja kadisa wa gerezani na wako kwa gari moja ingekuwa gari bili mkila mtu akikuja na yake saa zingine ni stress na hutaki kufungua mdomo unaweza uharibu kabisa si ndio So inaeleweka. So saa zingine iko hiyo stress. So tunakaa katika maisha ambayo inatusumbua ina, ina saa zingine. And Paul 
while writing te, while instructing Timothy alimwambia hivi katika Timotheo wa tatu wa, wa pili mlango wa sura ya tatu, one to four. but mark this ukisikia mtu amekwambia mark this hiyo ni kama ni kitu wako sure nayo ile wanayudhi wanasema sure bet there will be terrible times in the last days people will be lovers of themselves lovers of money boastful yani wanajigamba wana lovers of money wapenda pesa proud watu wako na kiburi abusive watu mtu anaweza tu kutukana hivyo tu mashindu wa shida ni nini without love unholy ungrateful mtu unafanyia mtu hata nini lakini hakuna shukurani um, slanders mtu anaweza tu tengeneza story yako aende akuharibie jina without self control eh hey, iko zaidi shida hii hii brutal not lovers of the good yani hatpendi ile mazuri ile mabaya ndio nawafurahisha treacherous watu wanaweza kukona hata hawana aibu rash conceited kiburi ile hata ile ya dadini ini zaidi ya being proud lovers of pleasure than lovers of god wanapenda ile mambo ya raha kuliko kumpenda mungu na hawa watu ambao wameambiwa hivi ni watu wa gani sio ati ni watu wamewekwa mahali kama kwa prison ama ati tunaweza enda kuwaona vyenye Paul alisema ati mkitaka kuona hawa watu wote twendeni mahali benchmarking okay sorry hatuwezi enda ku benchmark na wao but these people who are these people hawa si ni wale watu wa tuko nao they are brothers and sisters they are our parents kwa hivyo ukikuwa na watu kama hawa ambao wana kunyima raha you are bound unashinda utafanya aje na nimekuja kugundua kwanza hakuna jambo hata ngumu sana kama vile ukiwa na watu wako wa, kwa wa aina hii alafu wako kwa familia ndugu yako dada yako anakuongelesha afu unashindwa huyu huyu ni yeye nilikuwa anabeba unajua saa zingine wale wazee wanapenda kutukalia sana sisi wenye tuko na huko nyuma wewe ni nenda kuwaga eh huyu ndio nilikuwa anabeba sasa inafika mahali huyu mtu anakuongelesha unashindwa huyu ni yeye nilikuwa anabeba unaona inakutatiza sana so ukijaribu kufikiria vile utasota utio maneno inaweza kukupatia stress si ndio but this, this day as christians nataka tujiulize mambo mawi, jambo moja as christians wakati tunajipata kwa hiyo mambo na hatuondoki kwa hii dunia in fact hata kwa kikuyu tunazamanga familia na age group azitokangui si ndio canon So wewe toka kwa hiyo familia hata ukitaka hata ukisimama pale mbele utake ku denounce. Watu watasema ah ule ule ni ule wa ile familia alitokata. They still associate with that family. Age group that is a different whole story. Lakini kuna mahali wewe toka. We have to deal with these things. Hatutoki kwa dunia. Hata Yesu alisema he is not saying that we get removed from this world tutolewe kwa dunia. But tuko na hii maneno. So what should we do? We do? How should we behave? Leo kuna mambo mawili na hizi ni timu mbili. Wewe uko timu gani? Uko timu faith ama uko timu fear? Wakati hii mambo inakuja. Unapigia wewe uko pande gani? Umevaa jase gani? Team faith ama team fear? Uko kwa uoga ama uko kwa imani? Hiyo ni swali unaweza jiuliza. Unajua sasa hakuna mtu anaweza sema fear nikiwa hapa. Na kuna kamera lakini unajiangalia unajijibu. Si ndio? uko timu gani you have to make a choice either to live by faith regardless of the situations that we have and you know what is faith faith is now faith na hii ndio na kwa biblia inasema now faith is assurance of things hoped for and the convictions of of, of things not seen ile ambayo unatamani una unaamini kwamba iko we have faith iko na ile ambayo hujaona unasikia kwa roho umskumo kusema kwamba hiyo jambo kwamba hata kama sijaiona ni ya ukweli and that is the faith that we have in faith in god the opposite of fear in fact hii hata uwezi pata dem- demonstration kwa bible ama definition because the most ukisoma biblia yako most the bible inakuambia do not fear do not be anxious si ndio haikuambia haikuambia ati ujue fear ni nini inafiki in, in fact inakuambia hata usitake kujua hiyo ni nini waachana na hiyo kitu why fear is the opposite of 
Faith. You cannot have both. You cannot have fear and faith at the same time. Either uko team ya faith ama team ya fear. Faith focuses on God. Fear focuses on the issue, on the problem. Imani ina focus kwa Mungu. Uoga ama kuogopa ina focus na ile kitu ambayo inakusumbua. Unakiangazia ile kitu ambayo inakusumbua kwa hakika e, uoga ndio itakuingia. Tukiendelea zaidi tunaweza sema faith ni constructive because inakusaidia vile utajijenga, si ndio? Fear is destructive. Na ukiwa muoga hata kwa hii mambo ya kawaida ya dunia, saa zingine hii kuogopa ndio inatusumbua hata saa zingine tunapata bagojo ingine damu inakibia kuliko vile inafaa kukimbia. Saa ingine ni uoga. I don't know what fear you have today. But this morning we want to talk to you and agree that the best combination ama the best way to go is to go to journey through this life by faith not by fear. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. So live by faith. Wakati Petro ali kwa kuwa wanatembea na Yesu after Yesu aliambia yule fig tree inaitwa fig tree inaitwa mm, jina inapotea he cast a fig tree na akasema haitazaa tena so wakati walipitia hapo tena na Petro akaona hiyo fig tree imeanza kukauka aliambia Yesu look ule mti ambao ulisema usi, u, u, ukauke umeanza kukauka Jesus Yesu alimjibu waje have faith in God bwana asifiwe Yo, that is in Mark chapter 11 chapter chapter 11 verse 20 to 22 ni vizuri niwaambie unajua pia hata kuna watu wa TE wasidhani nasoma bible gani Fict- so what was Jesus implying he was implying that if you have faith you can command a situation na na na, na, na that situation it happen bwana asifiwe and the bible inatuambianga kuhusu in Hebrews chapter 11 it has like a wall of fame inatuambia wale watu ambao waliishi kwa eh? imani inakuota kina Ibrahim wa wote Abraham wote wako hapo so it's like a wall of fame and my desire would be can god enable me and you sisi ambao wakati watu wengine watakuwa kitajo kama kuna pahali itaongezwa kama kuna kitabu kingine itasomwa vile imeandikwa kina Abraham hapo akina ah, Jacob mpaka Rahab ameandikwa hapo si ndio mimi nikuwe hapo. Apollo ukuwe hapo. Canon tukuwe hapo. Dugu nzioka tukuwe hapo. Maombi yangu ndiyo hiyo. That tuliishi kwa ima hatukuogopa. Bwana asifiwe. And fear is a tool inatumua na shetani. The, the devil use, uses fear to discourage kuleta discouragement katika maisha yetu. Shetani anataka tuogope. Tukae watu waoga shida ikikuja tunaogopa tutatetemeka tunajaribu kutafuta ile solution ambayo iko karibu ndio saa zingine tunajikuta hata tumeenda hata kwa waganga because ya kuogopa because we do not have faith but na hii uoga si kitu mzuri hata biblia ukisoma uh, in revelation chapter 21 verse 8 kati ya wale watu wataenda kwa shetani number one, ni nini waoga the cowardly waoga then the next ni faithless yani ukiwa muoga na ukiwa faithless then unakuwa number one na number two. unakuwa top 10 top top two. kuingia lake of fire and the bible keeps on reminding us that we have not been given a spirit of fear bwana asifiwe hatujapewa roho wa uoga why then should we succumb to fear it is because of our focus We, when we focus on the things that are disturbing us we are about to gain fear when we focus on god we are about to build our faith na katika somo letu ambalo tumesoma leo katika kitabu cha madhayo sura ya 14 unakumbuka hiyo wakati ambao yesu alitembea juu ya maji lakini i'll just like to to take you back a bit hiyo uh, verse uh, chapter yote In some bibles inaandika ngwa Jesus has power over nature. Yaani yako na power juu ya kila kitu. 
na inaongelelea ina wakati John the Baptist alikuwa beheaded because ya na, na, na through the instructions za Herod wakati msichana wake aliitisha kichwa chake na mnajua Herod pia hakuwa anataka John anapenda John the Baptist sana because alikuwa na mkera kushinda akimkumbusha na huyo bibi uko naye si wako ulinyanganya dugu ya dugu yako so alikuwa na mkera sana so um, Yesu alijua na alijua ma, mambo ya ya Herod na kuna mambo manne ningetaka tujifunze katika hii passage So wakati tunajikuta katika mambo ya kuogopa, wakati tunajikuta katika situation zingine ngumu, ni vizuri tuangalie haya mambo manne. Tukijifunza kutoka kwa Yesu mwenyewe na hata kutoka kwa Petro. Bwana asifiwe. So, number one, avoid situations that are about to increase your fear or instill fear. You can avoid. Bwana asifiwe. Yesu alijua kwamba Herod alisema kwamba yeye ni kama John the Baptist amefufuka because ni kama walikuwa nafanana. kwa hivyo Yesu alijua maisha yake iko in danger because kama Herod wenye aliua John the Baptist amesema sasa huyu ni John the Baptist amefufuka si ni kumaanisha maisha yake ilikuwa hatarini na juu ni Mungu alijua na ana alikuwa na uwezo ya kungangana na hiyo mambo juu alikuwa Mungu lakini hakungangana nayo kwa sababu wakati wake hauko umefika So badala ya Yesu kungangana na Herod yeye aliavoid he withdrew Bwana asifiwe Biblia inatuambia katika verse 13 Jesus, when Jesus had what had happened he withdrew by boat privately to a solitary place ali withdraw hakutaka atiakae hapo aanze kuonyeshana yeye ni Mungu anaweza ngangana na hiyo roho ya, ya Herod inataka kumfananisha na Yohana imuwe hapana He withdrew. My brothers and sisters, are there issues that you are going through in your life? Zinakupatia stress. Lakini ukifikiria hivi, hizi vitu unaweza wachilia. Huh? Are there those things? You need to to, to kujiuliza. Na ukiwaachilia, hauachilii tu hivi. Unawaachilia in, 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 in faith that ukiwachia hiyo mambo Mungu ukisarenda hayo mambo kwa Mungu kuna vile Mungu atakusuluhishia mambo yako Bwana asifiwe because even in Romans chapter 8 verse 28 inasema all things work for good, together for good for those who are called upon his purpose Bwana asifiwe unaweza kuwa unangangana na kitu lakini hiyo sio purpose yako Bwana asifiwe your purpose is in God at times you be expected to let go and let god bwana asifiwe in faith bwana asifiwe you let go and let god work in your life in faith bwana asifiwe sijui ni nini unangangana nayo sijui kama ni barua umetumua ya auctioneer unajua kama wazee wanateseka sana na hii maneno rafiki yangu mwingine ako na mali anatumiwa barua ya auctioneer anaenda anajiweka anajiweka kamba Hmm? Why don't you hey, waze wa, vitu zingine si tunaweza wachilia tukijua hata kama ni hapo ndio tunaweka tumaini letu ya wajukuu na nini Mungu atawa atawaangalia Bwana asifiwe ujiulize hivi wewe because unasemanga haukuwa na kitu ukikuja na kuru si ndio na Mungu amekufikisha pahali huko kwa nini unafikiria hiyo mali ndio itashikilia watoto yako inafanya upate stress jua barua unakipia unakibia unakibia ukishodia ukishodia ingine and my prayer is that may god give us the spirit of discernment bwana asifiwe so that tujue wakati mambo pia inakuwa ngumu ni nini tutawaachilia sisi mitai na watu waachilie kila kitu hiyo ni kukua ni kukua kutokuwa na he, hekima lakini mungu atupatie his spirit of discernment Tujue wakati mambo inakuwa ngumu ni nini tutawaachilia ni nini tutaweka chini and seek him and find out the purpose that he has for our lives bwana asifiwe 
Unaweza kuwa unangangana na kitu na huko sio purpose yako iko. Bwana asifiwe. So may God help us. Give us the spirit of discernment. That tujue wakati mambo inakuwa ngumu tutakaa namna gani. Bwana asifiwe. Ni nini tutaachilia? Ni nini tutashikilia? Bwana asifiwe. Tusikae tu na stress. Tusikae tu na stress. Kwa sababu anajua wazee inazumbuka. Ukikuwa na nyumba iko pale gorofa tatu na imeandikwa Jona. Usikie hiyo nyumba inaenda. Ati watu sasa wataona imebadilishwa imeandikwa limo. Hiyo kitu inasumbua wazee sana. Lakini what will it benefit you to gain the whole world? Eh? Bwana asifiwe. May God give us the spirit of discernment. Tujue wakati mambo inakuja ni nini tutawachilia, ni nini tuta, tutashikilia na tujue purpose ya Mungu katika maisha yetu. Bwana asifiwe. Number two, prayer. When Jesus appeared to his disciples, wakati Yesu alitokea katika kwa wanafunzi wake, Yesu alikuwa ametoka kwa maombi, kwa mulima. Bwana asifiwe. Na si hata hapa kuna mulima. Kama ni mulima, kama unataka kufananisha hiyo verse. Kama unataka prayer na mulima iko hapa. Ya Hirax. Panya bado ziko. <laughs> so he was from the mount side kuomba. Jesus knew the place of prayer in his ministry. Bwana asifiwe. He knew hata kama alikuwa Mungu, he knew the place of prayer in his ministry. There are many instances that hata ukisoma Biblia utakuta most of the time Yesu before afanye a miracle. Si alikuwa naomba. Si ndio? So even us we need to start making prayers of faith. Bwana asifiwe. When things get tough Bwana asifiwe. We need to start making prayers of faith. Bwana asifiwe. We need to have faith even as we are praying our prayers. Bwana asifiwe. We need to have faith that regardless of the fears, regardless ya ile shida ama ile uoga, hiyo mambo tuko nayo inatuweka that we have a God in whom wakati tunaongea na yeye ako na nguvu ya kutusuluhishia maneno yetu. Bwana asifiwe. And uh, uh, David knew this also. Ukisoma katika Zaburi 34 verse 4 inasema I, David says cause he ndiye aliandika hii I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from my fears Bwana asifiwe You can make a prayer of faith that God to de- for God to deliver you from your fears Bwana asifiwe Zile vitu unaogopa zitaenda namna gani You can make a prayer of faith Mungu akuokoe katika uoga wote Bwana asifiwe and in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 don't worry about anything instead by pray about everything bwana asifiwe tunahisiwa kwanza to make a prayer in faith about everything let us replace fear with faith wakati unasikia ni kama unaogopa sasa hiyo ndio unafaa kuongeza gear ya maombi bwana asifiwe bwana asifiwe if jesus prayed who are we to neglect prayer bwana asifiwe Tutawezaje kuogapa kuovacam uoga kama maisha yetu haina maombi bwana asifiwe Number three, do not lean on your own understanding Usitegemee kujua kwako bwana asifiwe Wakati wakati Yesu wakati hao wanafunzi waliona Yesu akikuja hawakuelewa ni nini naendelea In fact si walisema ile ni ghost si ndio walisema hawakuelewa na hii ni kwa sababu ya ujuzi wao penye ilikuwa imefika bwana asifiwe hawakuelewa hii ni nini inaendelea my brothers and sisters hata sisi saa zingine kuna mambo inaweza kuwa inaendelea katika maisha yetu na hatujui na wakati tunajaribu kuyajua zaidi ndio tunaenda tunakuwa confused zaidi kama sasa ukitaka kujiuliza ukitaka ati upate jibu ati kwa nini nimempoteza mmoja wetu katika fa- why did i lose a family ukitaka kuelewa hiyo kitu sitakusumbua utaendelea kuingiwa na uoga na shetani akitaka kukuonyesha hata wewe hakuna mahali unaenda na kuonyesha si hata fulani alikuwa na kila kitu na ameenda anataka kukumbusha vitu kama hiyo anataka ujawe na uoga so wakati tunajaribu kuyafikiria yale mambo ambayo 
yanatujia ukitaku ukitaka kujiulia ti maswali kwa nini mume wangu ama mke wangu ama nani ako na hii ugonjwa na iishi saa zingine hiyo majibu hatutapata si ndio so najaribu kusema hivi wakati tunategemea ujuzi wetu tutakosa suluhisho wakati tunapata kwa shida na tuendelee kutegemea e, ujuzi wetu sometimes tutajipata hatuna uwezo hatuna nguvu nani alisema hiyo ni atuoli hatuna nguvu utajikuta hauna nguvu hauna maneno baka because ukiangalia huku hauoni jibu ukiongea na huyu haunaoni jibu ukiongea na lile haupati jibu na hiyo inakuweka uoga ningekata tubadilishe wakati tunaona tumefika mwisho hatuelewi ni nini inaendelea it is good to trust in the lord bwana asifiwe and proverbs 3 verse 5 6 ina niki complete your statement in a verse inasema let us trust in the lord let us fear faith in him that he will make our path straight hata wakati hatuelewi ni nini inaendelea let us replace fear with faith believing that god will make our path straight bwana asifiwe tutoe fear tutoe uoga tuweke faith we believe in god and just as jesus said in matthew 1427 wakati aliwatokea yesu aliwaambia take courage do not be afraid and this is the same message i have for us today ndio ujumbe ambao niko nayo leo jipe nguvu usiogope bwana asifiwe take courage do not be afraid it doesn't matter what you are going through hata kama huielewi take courage do not be afraid bwana just trust in trust in god and when you trust in god yeye ndiye atakupa amani ati unaanga unaweza kuwa unapitia shida lakini bado wanaona uko na amani watu wanashindwa huyu ndiye amepitia lile jambo na bado wanasimama because in john chapter 14 verse 27 inasema peace i leave to you my peace i give to you not as the world gives do i give you let not your hearts be troubled neither let them be afraid bwana asifiwe mungu anakupatia amani hata if continue having faith in god and you are assured of his peace bwana asifiwe number four, believe even when it does not make sense bwana asifiwe hilo jambo ambalo unapitia endelea kumtumainia mungu hata kama hai make sense bwana asifiwe hata kama hieleweki hata kama hueleweki bwana asifiwe endelea ku weka imani katika Mungu continue believing bwana asifiwe hapa ndiyo tunaitisha ile faith inaitwa child like faith bwana asifiwe hii ni ile faith ukiambia mtoto nitakuja visiting anaamini unakuja na utaenda unaambia mtoto nitakukujia na mkate jioni anaamini tu eh hajui kuna stress ya tikukosa pesa hajui hiyo maneno e anaamini utamle utampelekea we are supposed to have child like faith na hata hiyo iko na opposite yake yenye inaitwa childish faith. Childish faith ni ile ati unasoma bible unasema at even if they drink poison you are not going to die unaenda unanunua poison utakufa. Because you're the childish faith. We are called to have childlike faith that we are going to believe in God even when it doesn't make sense. Bwana asifiwe. When we have when we replace fear with faith we change our focus bwana asifiwe because our folk faith fear focuses on the natural bwana asifiwe but faith focuses on the supernatural bwana asifiwe na hapa ndiyo e, tofauti ya pea na nini inaonekana ya peter wakati peter aliitwa na yesu and he continued focusing on jesus His focus was on the supernatural and that was why he was able to walk on the water. Bwana asifiwe. Because he remained focused on the supernatural. The moment he changed focus and he looked at the natural, wakati alibadilisha mwelekeo wake ama focus yake, akaanza kuangalia maji na upepo, hapo ndiye alianza kuzimia. Bwana asifiwe. Hapo ndiye alianza kuingia kwa maji. So my brothers and sisters regardless whether it is making a sense or not let us continue focusing on the supernatural and the supernatural here is god himself bwana asifiwe the natural could be your friends 
The natural could be your families. The natural could be even be your spouse. The natural could even be some people who are even close to you. But if you focus on the supernatural, through faith, even when you don't understand things, God will put you according to his purpose. Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Siju kama usha yenda kutembelea, nilienda siku moja kutembelea mgonjwa hospitali. Mimi naingia hivi, hai naona vini yako. Una, unaona, as, uh, that person was very intelligent. Alisoma body language yangu. Naka nivea, ah, ingia, 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 ingia usiogope. Nika ingia na tukaomba. Alafu, uh, before that, I had told her that my, my father is unwell. So, wakati tulianza kuomba, nikienda kufanya ni kama nikatoka na ya kaanza maombi. Haka niombe, nako kwa kitanda. So, yeye, hiyo kitu ini ni encourage sana. Angekuwa na focus na ugonjwa, na muliwa hiyo machine ilikuwe na liya huko, piti, titi, 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 hange kumbuka kuniombea. Lakini because alikuwa na focus on the supernatural, alikuwa na jua kuna mungu ambaya naeza muokoa, na naeza pia wakoa baba yangu. Kwa hivu, akaanza kuomba na haka niombea, pana asifiwe. Hata nilishindua sasa, inakaa mungu alikuwa na nituma huko niende niombewe. So it doesn't matter your situation. It doesn't matter what you are going through. You only need to change your badrisha mwelekeo. Badrisha focus. You either choose, are you going to focus on the natural or the supernatural? Wana asifiwe. And my recommendation is, let us continue focusing on the supernatural. Tuzidi kwa mangazia mungu. Ata wakati, it does not make sense. Wana asifiwe. So, Petro, aliweza kutembea juu ya maji it's because, not because of fear it's because of faith what is it that you are going through unajua maji ya bahari na hiyo garidi inajulikana ilikuwa na mapurukumbo kila wakati what is it that you are going through if you have faith my brothers and sister even when you don't understand you can stand firm bwana asifiwe do not fear bwana asifiwe and that as i conclude and as I said before, it doesn't matter what you are going through. Let us declare this day, this worship Sunday, that fear will not be our portion. In Jesus' name. Amen. We have a friend in Jesus. And if God is, against, is, is for us, my dear brothers and sisters, who can be against us? And no weapon that is formed against us that can prosper. Mungu wakiwa pandietu. Hatutashindua. Bwana asifiwe. If only we believe. Bwana asifiwe. If only we, we, we have faith in him. Hatutashindua. Bwana asifiwe. Nothing can separate us from his love. Ila kitu tu inaeza tu separate na mungu. Ni thambi. Bwana asifiwe. So my dear brothers. If there is anything that you need to fear today. Ni kuogopa thambi. Bwana asifiwe. Wacha tu ogope thambi. Because thambi ni uneza tutenganisha na mungu. Mwana asifiwe. Let us repent of our sins. Let us live repentant lives. Mwana asifiwe. Tusikubali kujitenganisha na yule ambaye. Ana tushugulikia ata wakati hatujui. Mwana asifiwe. Let us live a life of righteousness. Let us confess our sins. And he is faithful and just. Whatever we say in our prayer book. It is biblical and it is scriptural. That he is faithful and just. And you forgive us of our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Na mungu wetu ni mzuri. Unajua, wakati pita alianza kuzimia, kuingia kwa maji. Yesu alimpeleka kwa, inaitua ni the show, ama alimurudisha kwa boat. Yeah? Yesu wakati, unajua wakati unaenda kujifanya, unajua kuswimu. The gym instructor akiona unaizimia anakutoanga anakuweka inje, si ndio? Unajua Yesu hakutoa pita kwa bahari ati akampitisha juu ya maji akampeleka kwa kwa show alimrudisha kwa boat. Si kama unaona hiyo. Jesus will not take you away from your family. He will not take you from from your workplace. He does not need to take you from your workplace. Hahitaji kukutoa katika ile biashara unafanya ili akuongoze aku, aku na akubariki. 
hata kubarikia mahali ulikuwa tu unaona ni kama kuna shi kuna shida bwana asifiwe na wakati alirudishwa pale si hata wale walishangaa nani huyu ambaye anaweza kufanya hivi so it's the same way that is going to do in whatever you are going you are going through mungu atakuja akuzidishie mahali yuko akushughulikie mahali yuko bwana asifiwe ili hata wale walikuwa naona unapitia shida yote waweze kuona utukufu wa Mungu. Alpita angetolewa huko aweko huko kwa nje ya bahari. Hakuna mtu angejua vile imetendeka. Lakini because alimrudisha pale na mawimbi yakakoma, watu wote waliweza kupata ushuhuda ya nguvu ya Yesu. Sio? Kwa hivyo hata wewe Mungu atakutumia. Hiyo shida yako. Hiyo kitu unambao unapitia inakuweka uoga. If you remain in faith, you will remain faithful to God. If you remain in faith, Mungu ataitumia kubadilisha maisha yako na maisha ya ya jamii yako so do not fear bwana asifiwe tusiogope in the name of the father son and the holy spirit i'm no longer a slave to fear i am a child of god i'm no longer i'm no longer a slave I'm no longer I'm no longer a slave to fear I am a child of God Let is, us there appreciate. is there anyone who would want us to pray for a situation we can stand up and pray is there a situation that you are believing God for that in faith that he need to 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 come through for you let us stand if there's the situation I'm no longer a slave to fear i am a child of god I'm no longer you can raise your hand and I'm put it no down longer there's a situation you're trusting god to fear kama kuna jambo unamtegemea Mungu naweza inua Father in our God we worship you this afternoon. We thank you dear Father because you are a good God. You are a dependable God. You are a God that we can trust in. You are a God that is faithful. There is none like you dear Father. In all heavens and in all the earth there is none like you dear Father. And that's why we come to you dear Father in faith this afternoon dear Father to declare that we are surrendering everything to you dear Father. You know us dear Father. You know the issues that we are going through in our individual lives dear Father. In our families dear Father. In our businesses dear Father. Father, and even in our nation dear father and in our neighborhoods dear father and in our church dear father you know the challenges that we are going through some of them may come and instill fear in us dear father but this day dear father we are declaring dear father that fear is not our portion dear father in the name of Jesus dear father we are declaring dear father that this day dear father we are going to increase our faith in you dear father because you are the lord 
who has proved to be a God who is dependable, dear Father. You are a God who never leaves us nor forsakes us, dear Father. We lay everything to you in your able hearts, dear Father. Those struggles that we are going through, dear Father, you know them, dear Father. You ask, we ask, dear Father, that you may come through for us. May you be unto us, dear Father, according to your riches in glory, dear Father. If there are sicknesses, dear Father, within us, dear Father, and our family members, dear Father, you are Jehovah Rapha, dear Father. Your hand is never too short to heal, dear Father. We invite you, dear Father, to come and heal us, dear Father. In case you, we are going through periods of luck, dear Father, you are Jehovah Rapha, we are Jehovah Jireh, dear Father. May you supply our needs to your Father according to your riches in glory. You are our all-sufficient God, dear Father. There's nothing that you, you, you lack, dear Father. May you supply us, dear Father. There's none like you, dear Father. May all glory and honor come back to you, dear Father. In all our individual needs, the ones that we have been able to mention, and even those that they are unspoken, dear Father, you know them, dear Father. May you come through for us. There is nothing we can do. We cannot do, dear Father. We also ask, dear Father, that you may protect us, dear Father, from the evil schemes of the evil one, dear Father. We and declare today, dear Father, that we are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ and no weapon that is formed against us will prosper in the name of Jesus, dear Father. We leave ourselves to you, dear Father, because you are a good Lord and you are a shepherd. For this is our prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us have our seats. Thank you, Mchungaji. God bless you so much uh, for that message. It is indeed timely. We are living in uh, tough times. The economy is tough, diseases, and many other challenges that the devil has put forth before us. But today, you have reminded us to replace what? Fear with faith. And God actually is not pleased with people who do not have faith. The book of Hebrews says that God despises the faithless. And that is the affirmation we want to have today in each and every situation. Replace fear with faith because fear is an evil spirit. God bless you. I really hope we are blessed and today to Kitoka Hapa, that word will have really uh, given us strength and hope uh, to face tomorrow. I'm going to call uh, Lady Dawashira to come and lead us in uh, intercessory prayers as we move on. Bwana Sifiwe, na tuendele na maombi. Mungu baba, tumekuja bere yako na unyenyekevu mwingi. Tunasema ni asanti kwa sababu ulitusaidia kutupatia nguvu tukaja kwa nyumba yako. Tumenyenyekea tukisikiza neno lako. Tunakuomba Bwana ututolee ile uoga iko ndani ya roho zetu na utuongeze imani. Ndiposa tuweze kubarikiwa na kupata ima, tukupata uzima wa milele. Wakati huu Bwana nakubuka familia hii ya section 58. Kuna wengi wanapitia matatizo aina baribali. Kuna wengi wamekuja siku ya leo wame wanaugua maugojo ya mili na ugojo wa zaroho. Bwana wakati huu wa asubuhi na kuomba Bwana uweze kuwakumbuka na kuwaguza na mkono wako na uweze kuwaponya. Bwana nakubuka kwa kati ya watu wale wamehudhuria ibada hii ya leo kuna wale Bwana kila siku wanaodoka wakitafutia familia. Ndio wale wameshikilia familia zao. Naomba Bwana wakati ule wanaondoka wanapoenda kazini, wanapoenda mashabani, wanapoenda mahali popote watafute mkate wa kila siku uweze kuwabariki na kuongoza. Naomba Bwana uendelee kuturida pamoja na familia zetu. Wa uturide kutokana na ajali zozote za nyumbani, uturide kutokana na ajali zozote za barabarani na kila wakati Bwana utuzungukie na damu yako. Ndiposa kila wakati tuwe na lisifu jina lako tukiona mkono wako. Naomba baraka zako Bwana ziwe kwa kila familia na kila mwakilishi wa familia uweze kumbariki na kuomuongoza wakati huu bwana na kubuka nchi yetu ya Kenya na kuomba bwana wakati huu eh, tuna matatizo aina tofauti tofauti uweze kutukubuka bwana tunakubuka viongozi wetu wote 
hasa tukikubuka hata kiongozi wa kaunti yetu ya Nakuru governor wetu uweze kumpatia hekima ya kuongoza eh, kuongoza hii kaunti yetu ya Nakuru bwana tunashukuru kwa sababu kaunti ya Nakuru umetubariki na mvua kwa tubariki na rotuba nzuri tunaomba bwana kazi yote tutafanya na mikono yetu uweze kuibariki na nchi hii yetu yote ya Kenya tukiongozwa na ilizi wetu Ruto na deputy wake Gashagwa na viongozi wote walioshikilia serikali hii yetu ya Kenya tunakuomba bwana utupatie amani na uwapatie hekima ya kuongoza nchi yetu diposa kila wakati tuwe na amani na kila wakati tuweze kupata baraka kutoka kwako bwana Mungu pia tunaikubuka diocese yetu ya Nakuru hasa tukikubuka Light Reverend uh, Joseph Mushai ambaye die bishop wetu uweze kumbariki na kumuongoza pamoja na familia yake hata wakati huu anajitayarisha kwenda retirement tunaomba baraka zako ziende ziweze kwenda naye kila wakati na kumbariki na kumuongoza pamoja na familia yake na kumurida kila siku tunakubuka kiongozi wa uh, parish yetu ya section 58 tukikubuka vika wetu Joseph Kamano Abaye kwa muda huu ako likizoni. Na muomba Bwana baraka zako ziwe pamoja naye na familia yake na uweze kuwarida na kuongoza kila wakati. Tukigubuka hata curate na viongozi wote wa kanisa uwapatie hekima na uwezo na roho wako mtakatifu aweze kuongoza diposa waweze kushikilia nyumba yako na Bwana waweze kuiongoza vile itapasafio. Bwana umetuahidi ya kuwa yale yote tutaomba na tuombe tukikuamini tuki utaweza kuwasikia maombi yetu na kuyajibu tumekuja tumenyenyekea na yote bwana unaijua kuna yale mengine ambayo iko ndani ya roho zetu na ya Mungu unayajua tutimizie bwana siku ya leo tunaomba katika jina la Yesu Kristo bwana wetu amen thank you so much so at this moment i'm going to welcome the praise team Uh, as we prepare to give our offertory okay so we we'll, the ushers will wait on us they'll help us as we are seated as we make that presentation No matter what, make a 
all things come from you, O Lord, and from your own we have given. Father Almighty, I'd like to thank you at this moment for all that has been given before your house, the offering, the project fund, and the tithe. Father, we pray that it will be of good use to the growth of the church and your ministry. We pray that you'll bless the work of our hands, you'll bless our farms, and you bless each and everything that we partake of, Father, so that we can always give generously to your church. We pray this believing and trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. We have come to the end of the service. We will pray for Uji. And I'll ask Rehema. Okay, let's believe and pray. Everlasting Father, we want to thank you for each and every person who is here today, Lord. And Lord, we want to pray because of OG. As there, we are going to take it, Lord. We pray that it brings benefit into our bodies. And it is in Jesus' mighty name we do pray and believe. We thank you for your patience during this worship Sunday. We are going to make the final prayer. Let's pray. Our Father and our God, you are a faithful God. When we were beginning the service, dear Father, we sought your presence, dear Father, and we are grateful, dear Father, that you have walked with us through the service. We have seen you in our worship, in our praises, in your word, dear Father, and in, in our giving and in all the activities that you have enabled us to do this day. We ask, dear Father, that you may continue being with us, dear Father, and even as we leave uh, this sanctuary, dear Father, we ask that your presence will continue to be with us in our families, dear Father. And even as we go about the duties of the afternoon and for the week, dear Father, we ask you who is our uh, shepherd, dear Father, that you may guide us, protect us, and be with us, dear Father. We pray for any, everybody as we undertake our duties for the week. May you continue to bless us. May you continue uh, giving us wisdom, even as we deal with our uh, children who are at home for the holidays, dear Father. We depend upon you for wisdom, for protection, for provision, and for everything. And even as we uh, purpose, dear Father, to replace our fears with faith in, in you, dear Father, we know we cannot do it alone. We ask, dear Father, that you may strengthen us, dear Father. We also pray that you may give us companionship, dear Father, and company that is going to help us in building up our faith, dear Father. May you enable us, dear Father. We cannot do without you. Be with us, dear Father, and uh, bless us. And now my prayer is, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And the blessed King of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you. The Lord be with you. The recession of song. The praise team is going to lead us in a session of praise as we walk out. Have a lovely day, a lovely week ahead. God bless you. Come on, sing. O 
utukufu katika utakatifu wenyewe kuoko kwa katika sipuli yevuma uliyevuma kwa upepo wako bahari kafunikiza wakazaba wakazaba kama risasi risasi ndani ya maji Wewe 